Okay, I should probably call this one Adventures in Heat Treating. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you an update on the, uh, the heat treating that I've been doing, my observations up to now. This is all Texas Edwards Plateau chert. There may be, uh, s there is some other gravels mixed in. I think this is, uh, this is Uvalde gravel. Um, and I, my latest batch was uh, this gravel here, the Uvalde gravel. And I'm just going to show you real quick. I think I figured out why they, why some of the stone breaks up. And uh, this is raw here. And I, I broke it open and you can see that it's very, uh, it's already cracked on the inside before I even heat it. And I wasn't breaking open all of the uh, the cobbles before, so they might look fine on the outside, but once you break them open, they could be cracked like this, and then when you go to heat them, they break up. Doesn't matter if I heat this slowly or quickly, it breaks up the same way. Now all of this has been heated to 450 degrees, and I think that's a good rule to go by when you first start heating. Just throw everything in at once, heat it to 450 degrees, and if it doesn't respond, then it either can't be heat treated or you need higher temperatures. Uh, there's some interesting gravels that I got in my last batch. This here has some kind of uh, oyster fossils or something on the outside and it's uh, on the inside I was surprised to find that it's very high quality chert and I have a heat treated piece of this somewhere but it is uh, it did turn out very well at 450 degrees I think it's right here yeah kind of a before and after. You can see the difference in coloration. And the workability is much better. This can be worked raw too. But uh, it's real hard on materials like antler. This is all heat treated gravel from my last batch. Some of it is really colorful. You can see the original color some of the original color it was not quite this red but then when you break it open it's yellow very interesting I still have to experiment with some of this I think that uh, part parts of the stone in on the interior are okay on this one and on the outside it's a little bit tough still you think it's just the opposite you think it'd be you know better around the outside than on the inside. You never know. I've broken up quite a bit of this to just to experiment with and uh, for the most part Texas chert responds very well to heat treating. It might not look good but once you uh, look on the interior it's very glossy and glass like. and uh, it's all to 450 degrees and it doesn't really matter too much if you spall it beforehand or not as long as it's dry uh, but if you spall it beforehand you can tell which ones are broken on the inside to begin with and you don't want to cook those pieces you just want to toss those out uh, some of this might be able to be worked raw but uh, it's very unpredictable the, uh, the best stuff that I've found looks like this. It's a gray chirp, but it's got um, various color differences in it. This tends to work really well and respond very well to heat treating, and this does also. Some of it, the one, the, the, uh, 
shirt with a really thin cortex tends to heat better I found and if it's kind of a light color gray it works better than the really dark stuff but this this seems to be the I don't know what this is just it's Edwards plateau shirt um, from around the Sweetwater Texas area uh, south of Sweetwater and when you heat it it doesn't look much different except the cortex becomes reddish so that's how I can tell the difference between my raw and heat treated other than how it works this can be worked raw very well but it works even better when it's heat treated I, uh, I heated up some rock that looked like rhyolite and that's what I think it is it didn't respond very well at all to the heat it got a little bit darker and that's it it's still very tough very difficult to map at 450 degrees and it doesn't seem to matter if you heat it for a day at that temperature or an hour or two hours uh, it, the properties are very similar this last batch I heated for uh, I think it was a total of two days and it looks just like the stuff I've heated for maybe six or seven hours for the most part the heat treatment works very well on uh, this great Edwards Plateau shirt I guess that's it